This video will walk you through setting up bleed and feed for a relay. Connect to your controller and then open up the property page for the relay that you want to configure bleed and feed for. In this example, we're going to configure bleed and feed for relay number one, which is an inhibitor pump. Double click the relay, go to the special control tab and under special control type select bleed and feed. Now select the relay that is your bleed solenoid. In this case the bleed solenoid is on relay number two. Select a percentage value and click apply. That's all there is to it for configuring the bleed and feed for a relay. But let's review what we've done. We've configured bleed and feed for the inhibitor pump on relay number one. We've defined that the bleed relay is the solenoid connected to relay number two. And we've entered, entered in 30 percent of every five minutes. So what will happen here is when the bleed solenoid turns on, the inhibitor pump will turn on simultaneously. The inhibitor pump will turn off after 30 percent of the first five minutes. If the bleed solenoid is still on in the next five minutes, it will turn on for another 30 percent of those next five minutes, and so on and so forth. It's important to note that no matter what the circumstance is, the inhibitor pump will turn off when the bleed solenoid turns off. In other words, the inhibitor pump is interlocked with the bleed solenoid. 